I bought $200 worth of Game Boys from DK Oldies. Let's see what we got. Now, for those of you who don't know who DK Oldies are, they're a website that sells retro gaming stuff. It could be consoles, it could be games, and I'm not gonna go into all of the politics and the drama of what's going on, but basically, the main point is that they're pretty goddamn expensive, and they claim to refurbish a lot of stuff, and then the quality of the refurbished job is also apparently not that great. Now, I've bought two different Game Boys here. Now, the thing that I think is gonna be quite interesting is that these are not actually refurbished. These are uh, what's called cosmetically flawed systems. Now you can see this right here is the DMG Game Boy. That cost me a total of $109.99. Now that makes me emotional because I pick up these Game Boys from Sendico for literally less than $10. So uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty damn painful when you think about it. Um, and it says here, cosmetically flawed system. Now it could mean that that's scratched. It could mean that it's yellowed severely. I guess we're not gonna know until we look inside it. If this thing is like seriously yellowed and dirty and gross and scratched, and I paid $109 for it, that's gonna be insane. And then the other one that I bought, which I'm actually really, really excited about, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it's gonna be good, is the Ice Blue Game Boy Pocket. Now this was actually exclusive uh, to the US. We did not get this in the UK, so it, they're really hard to come by. And I had a look on eBay, and some of them are priced pretty much exactly what I paid for this, $79.99. Now obviously, a hell of a lot of money, and this one is also a cosmetically flawed system, which is quite nerve-wracking. I'll put the prices up on the screen if you were to buy refurbished ones. I think they're another sort of 50%. Um, but yeah, I bought the cosmetically flawed ones because I thought that'd be interesting. Shipping came to nearly $30. That is probably because I live in the UK, so this would have cost $189.98, but it ended up costing $217.29. So, what is inside this box? That is the question. I'm nervous, I'm excited. I will say credit where credit's due. This thing shipped, I think, the same day that I bought it, which is pretty impressive. Um, I did use an alias to buy it so that uh, they wouldn't hopefully be biased in, in giving me something that an, a, an, an average customer wouldn't get I, I don't know how to i don't know how to word that without sounding incredibly arrogant but i think you know what i mean um so let's see what we get inside here okay oh oh they're broken now if they weren't already this is actually looking pr quite promising okay let's take a look at the dmg first because i don't know why this was more expensive but the ice blue game with pocket to me is a much more important one you know what that ain't bad that ain't bad. I mean, okay, it is yellowed. There is no denying that it is yellowed, but it's in bloody good condition. It's in really, really good condition. Ugh. Okay, that's an interesting thing. <laughs> There's a sticker inside here, like a DK Oldies kind of like quality control sticker. And there's a dead insect carcass attached to it. That's quite funny. Um, I imagine that was in the DMG and the adhesive of the sticker has just trapped it and it's probably come out of this battery terminal. But yeah, that is hilarious. You know what? This, this I have so much faith in. It's a little bit yellowed, I understand. We have got one problem that you might have picked up on and that is the screen lens. If I remove this uh, screen protector, they have actually put a glass screen lens on here, which is very nice of them. But what you might notice is that there's a white border around the inside of the screen lens. And that is because they've used a screen lens for an IPS screen mod, whereby the actual screen is ever so slightly bigger than the original one. So that's why you're gonna have this border here. That's not gonna be difficult for me to remove and replace at all. I have to say, I'm actually really, really impressed with this. It's got the uh, the Nintendo Service Center sticker on the back, which is cool. And uh, yeah, you can see the battery contacts as well inside are really, really good condition. We're gonna get some batteries in a second and try this out, but I am too keen to find out what the condition of this Game Boy Pocket is like. Okay, let's take a look at the Ice Blue Game Boy Pocket. Yeah. Okay, this one is bad. Oh, look at the state of the back of that. Cosmetically flawed system seems to me like a little bit of an understatement. I mean, factually, I suppose you could say 
it is cosmetically flawed, but the difference in cosmetically flawedness, which is a word, between these two is quite a lot. Um, that is really quite sad, you know. I mean, I guess what this does mean is it, it is going to be a Game Boy Pocket that I'll actually use quite a fair bit. Um, again, we have got a screen protector on here as well. And that is a glass one, I can confirm. Um, but, yeah, unfortunately, the back of that is really badly damaged. Now, the difficulty with this uh, Game Boy Pocket is the ice blue is actually painted on. And you can see down here in the corner, the original plastic underneath is blue as well, but obviously it's that matte finish. Now, when that scratches, you can see it obviously very, very clearly shows all of the wear. Uh, there are some scratches up here on the back of the DMG, but you wouldn't be able to see them because the scratches are the same color as the DMG Game Boy itself. Whereas this one, the underside is a slightly different shade of blue. Therefore, the scratches are all gonna show up. So yeah, that is a bit of a shame. That one really is quite damaged. If I had been offered this for 80, dollars which i is what i paid for it there's absolutely no way in hell i would have ever bought this <laughs> um let's 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 open up this this unit and see what the condition is inside so at least the game boy works the sound is fine the screen is fine uh, it looks absolutely perfect i i imagine the buttons are going to be fine but we can actually take a look in a second when we open it up i've got kind of mixed reactions right now because so far this just feels like it's a lucky dip which to me for, for that amount of money seems kind of crazy. Um, I think if you're about to spend $80 on a Game Boy, especially like an ice blue one, you know, which is kind of a, it's a, it's a limited edition color. It's something that you would really hope, wow, that is dumb. They've put the quality control sticker. Maybe that's not a quality control sticker. I mean, it would appear to be given that it's on top of this screw, but they've put it miles away from a screw in the battery terminal in here, which is kind of funny. Um, yeah, but I think Lucky Dip ordering um, of something this expensive, to me, sounds mental. Could you imagine if Apple was selling cosmetically flawed phones on their website for like, still more than you could buy a secondhand one for on Facebook Marketplace or eBay, and you don't know if the screen's gonna be smashed? And you get it down, it's like, oh, oh, well, that, that smash will do. That'll be fine. Like, no, that would never happen in any scenario ever. Holy moly, the inside of this is dirty. Really, really dirty. I mean, how long did that take for me to take the back off? Not long at all. Can you see all of the dust and debris on the bottom of that motherboard right there? That is pretty crazy. I mean, it wouldn't affect gameplay much or anything like that. If you're gonna buy a Game Boy and it's not clean inside and you're paying a premium price, why are you buying it? <laughs> buy it on eBay, do the refurb job yourself because that just seems like a, a really silly thing to do because this has not gotten me any further than buying it on eBay other than further into debt because you know, it's not a better Game Boy than what eBay offers and it's more expensive. So why would I do it other than for views? Um, yeah, you can see the motherboard inside. Actually not that bad. Credit where credit's due. This one, lucky dip, wasn't too bad. You can see the contacts there are still really nice and shiny, which means button presses are gonna be good. There's a quite a lot of dirt on the speaker down here, but that is pretty normal. Um, I mean, the contrast and volume wheel, they feel relatively stiff. I mean, kind of average, so they probably have been used quite a lot. I mean, given the condition of the cartridge port um, on the back here, the cartridge slot, this would have seen quite a lot of use, that is for sure. So. Yeah, rubber membranes as well, not too bad. They, they, they're they fine, to be honest with you, they're absolutely fine. And if we have a look at the button, a pretty average amount of dirt inside, really nothing that I would write home about. So with this DMG Game Boy, I've actually got a much better condition one next to it, just to show the differences in shading. It's not too far off. You definitely can notice uh, that this one is quite a bit darker, but it's really not too bad. And actually on the back as well, it's pretty much 100% okay. That That is a gradient of yellow that's sort of uh, comes over to the front, but a little bit of retro brighting would not go amiss on this. It would actually probably come out like mint. Um, one thing that it, you cannot deny is that the actual front of this is in just exceptionally good condition. Uh, I really am very impressed with the condition of this. It's just a shame that it was $110. Okay, let's plug in some batteries. Hopefully these have got some battery life left in them. 
It works absolutely fine. I hate the screen lens with a burning passion. Yeah, this is absolutely fine. <laughs> um, okay, conclusion. Why buy from DK Oldies when you can buy it for a lot cheaper and actually see what you're buying on eBay or on Facebook Marketplace? Cosmetically flawed systems on DK Oldies, not worth it. It's just a lucky dip. This one was good condition, this one was not but the prices are still insane. I just don't really understand why you'd buy it. And then refurbished units as well. If you haven't got any experience or understanding of tech, fair enough, just buy one that someone's already done it for and pay the premium for the convenience and service of that. But you can do it yourself with a screwdriver kit and, 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 and actually know that the job was done properly. A little bit of isopropyl alcohol, a screwdriver kit, a toothbrush, you, you know, you're gonna be able to do it again and again and again to different devices. So that expense, you kinda can't add on to the price of a Game Boy. You could if you only ever wanted to refurbish one Game Boy. So I don't know, I'm just waffling at this point. But yeah, doesn't really seem to make a lot of sense. I don't also know the full details of the politics of DK Oldies as well. So I'm sure there's gonna be some controversy about actually buying from that company. Um, but this was just my review on some cosmetically flawed systems. I have to say, Although the condition of this Game Boy is pretty bad, the fact that it is that bad means that I will actually play it a lot and it won't just sit on the shelf. And I do really like the Ice Blue Game Boy. And it's kind of cool to just have one that's rare that I can shove in my pocket. It's just a, a shame that the price of that is probably the same for me to fly to Spain. I want a refund. <laughs>